In this module, we move towards looking at the whole question of statutory land value. This is an interesting area for the valuer because it's one of the places where you can understand your work from Acts of Parliament. And so I recommend that you look through this module carefully and reflect on the issues that are grappled with in the legislation, not simply because of their, uh, their uh, application to statutory valuation and compensation, perhaps, but rather because they give us some insights into the whole doings of the way that we do land valuation. In this particular module, we're going to be starting with the Land Valuation Act for Queensland. I would also recommend that if you're studying in a different Australian state, then search out the relevant Valuation Act or the relevant Act for your state or territory. And the reason for this is that ultimately, if you're practicing in the ACT or Victoria, it's well to be aware of the legislation as it exists. Because one of the things that you'll find is that there are some conceptual problems behind the idea of statutory valuation that each state has attempted to find solutions for, and in some cases more successfully than others. We're going to be looking in these modules specifically at Queensland, so I want you to study the Queensland legislation regardless of where you're practising, but do be aware that it's important to read your own legislation. In this module, we're going to be simply doing a overall broad brush appreciation of the Act. And so in it, I want you to download a copy of the Act and read through as much of it as you're able, and definitely the parts of it that are referred to in the module uh, theory notes or the study guide, because that way you can see what the study guide or the theory notes are uh, explaining or the concepts that they're pointing out, and then see those in the actual words of the drafting of the Act itself. And a familiarity with this Act, and in fact other Acts of uh, Parliament, are very, very important uh, in any business area, but particularly when you're dealing with property. What you'll see in this module is that we're introducing you to the way that the Act grapples with the question of what value it is that the government is going to be uh, valuing, what uh, they're going to be using for the various statutory purposes such as local government rates and land tax and so on. Now behind that, in a different module, we'll be looking at the question of land taxation and the theoretical validity of it and in fact its economic efficiency and other questions around the usefulness, the theoretical benefits, perhaps even the ethics of land value taxation. Suffice to say, here is where all of that theory comes into practice. What is evident in the Act is the difficulty of identifying what they're calling unimproved capital value. And you'll notice that there are some unusual exceptions, especially to do with particular commercial uses of land, such as large shopping centres. We won't be covering the history and the complexity of the, um, shall we say, politics behind these issues in this module. But interested students may want to go into these topics because you will find that there is a lot more than economic theory that goes into the way that this particular legislation has been framed. What we can see is that the attempts to answer the simple question, what is land value, uh, especially when we have to do it on a uniform basis uh, across the entire state, isn't as easy as it seems. And so I recommend that you reflect on what you find in the, uh, in the module fairly carefully. And the other aspects we're going to be looking at in this module is the overall process, the way that applications are made, grievances are dealt with, and, uh, and that kind of administrative aspects. 
So that's pretty much the module. The following module is going to go into some of the specific issues in more detail, so they, they make a pair. But overall, we want you to be very familiar with this act, um, because it will be very important, as I say, not just for your statutory valuation work, but also for understanding valuation in general.